Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com, checking in with another Machine Masters tutorial. What I'm going to show you in today's tutorial is how to record your sounds from Machine into Studio One as separate audio tracks. Um, a lot of people have been talking about this and wondering how to do this without using the drag and drop method. Um, I was fumbling around with it for a little bit. I have Studio One myself, even though it's not my preferred uh, DAW of choice. And I was fumbling around with it uh, till I actually figured it out. And it's actually very simple. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is um, you're going to load up a Machine 2 track or a machine, whichever you're using. I'm using Machine 2. Um, and you can just use the drag and drop method through uh, Studio One. So you just come over here, you find your instrument. So Machine 2, you just click it and drag it right over. Now, as you can see, I've already done that. And I've got Machine already up on my screen. Uh, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up the file that you're going to use. So you just go click on Machine, go to File, and then you find your recent files and whatever it is you're going to do. I've already got my uh, file already open, which for the sake of the tutorial, I just did a simple drum pattern, uh, just a simple drum loop using only four sounds, and I'm going to play it for you so you can hear how it sounds. So as you can hear, nothing major, just a simple little loop, nothing extravagant by any means. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the files in machine uh, to be exported onto their own track. Uh, what a lot of people may not know, a lot of people do know it, but a lot of people may not know it, is that machine has 16 external outputs. And you can output literally uh, 16 sounds to different tracks. Uh, it was designed for this purpose when you're using a DAW, whether it be Studio One, Ableton, Pro Tools, Logic, etc., etc. And the way you access that is by going to the sound that you want to do, that you want to send out. So for I'm going to use so for this right away, I'm going to go right to my kick. You're going to click on the channel tab here, and you're going to make sure audio is selected, and you're going to make sure output is selected. Now, mind you, you can do all of this from the software or from the hardware. Uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I am going to use the mouse and do all my clicking. So now that I've got output and audio selected, you can see where it says destination. Right now, it says it's just going to the group. Now, when you click on destination, you can see external. You can see none, master, and then external one through sixteen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my kick out to external one. I'm going to send this snare out to external two, uh, this hi-hat here to external three, and lastly, this percussion here, I'm going to send that to external four. So that part's already done. Now remember, you have 16 of these, so you can do this for up to 16 sounds. Now, I know somebody's going to ask in a YouTube comment, um, what if I have more than 16 sounds in my beat? Never to fear, you can do the first 16 sounds and then you can mute those sounds and then you can send the next say you have 20 sounds the next four sounds you can send them to outputs one through four create four additional tracks which we're going to get into and you know continue on so remember you can do this up to 16 times again so since i only have four track four uh sounds for this pattern i'm only going to do the four so now we're going to go over here, we're going to close that out. We're going to go into Studio One, and you're going to bring up the mixer. And now when you bring up the mixer, you can see you've got your instruments, and then you can see your level here, and you can see your master over here. Now, you can see here where it says Machine 2. Now, what you want to do is you want to activate those first four outputs that we've sent our four uh, sounds to. So right now, I'm pressing the pads on my on my machine sound one that's going out through output one that's always going to come out because it's always going to be on the main output of the instrument uh, track however if I press my snare or my hi-hat or my perk I'm not sure if you guys can hear me pressing the machine pads um, through the, my microphone but I'm getting no sound 
And the way you activate those is click right here where it says Machine 2. And now in this drop down menu, you can hit Edit, Collapse, uh, Rename. So usually this says Expand. So when it says expand, now you can see machine out one, machine out two, and you can see all the different machine outputs. And you can see only number one is checked. So as you check these, you're going to get these other faders right next to them. So we're going to machine out three, machine out four. So now when I hit, you know, the snare and then the hi-hat and now the perk, they're all on their own separate tracks. So and then if you if you really wanted to, you could adjust the levels this way and you could, um, you know, you could bang out your entire beat that way. But if you want all of these as separate audio tracks so you can do your sequencing inside of Studio One, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we're going to create four new tracks. And in Studio One, you just hit T for new track. And we're going to do oh, track count four. Uh, we're going to do audio tracks. Um, the color, I do not care. You know, just to be festive, let's just do auto color. Um, stereo uh, Format stereo. Preset, don't need anything like that. Now, this is very important right here, your input. So, input L plus R is your audio interface. But you can see right here, you've got instruments. And then you can see you can do it in ascending order. Uh, one through four for the machine outputs because that is what we have activated. So if I just hit machine out one and it's going to ascend, so it's going to go machine out one, two, three, so on and so forth. And then our output, we're just going to do the main output. Hit OK. So now you can see I've got all four tracks right here, brand new. And you can actually see that it's set up input number one from machine, input number two from machine input number three and so on and so forth and so now right now when I press the sounds you know you're seeing them over here on the machine outs over here on the uh, in the mixer but you're not seeing them activated in the you know the actual audio tracks and the way you activate those you just simply press the record enable button on each track so now when I hit the kick see track one is lighting up track two is lighting up with the snare the hi-hat's lighting up on three, and the percuss percussion is lighting up on four. So now when I press play, or I'm sorry, when I press record, you're going to see all of these, all four of these tracks record into Studio One as audio. So there you have it. I was just being a little festive, messing with some other sounds while it was playing. But you get the idea. You can see that I've got all four of the outputs, all four of the sounds that I was using in machine uh, right here as separate audio tracks. And just to prove that, you know, that these are going to play, I'm going to mute the instrument track. Actually, you know what? I'll do one better. I'm going to remove this instrument track. And then we'll take these out of record enable. And then once I go back to the beginning, you'll hear the exact same drum pattern. Um, and it will be exactly like you heard it when it was only in machine. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you dump audio into Studio One in real time using a machine as a plugin and using the outputs that machine comes with uh, routing all the sounds to their own audio tracks inside of Studio One. Make sure you head over to machinemasters.com, sign up for the website. You can take part in our monthly beat battles. You can also take part in our sample pack Saturdays where we'll be Basically, we've been doing it 75 weeks strong at the time of this video. 75 weeks. Uh, sample has been coming out straight to, your, straight to our website for you to download, to chop up inside of machine. Um, 
the MPC Renaissance, Ableton Push, whatever it is you use, we don't discriminate at Machine Masters because at the end of the day, we're all producers trying to get to the end result of having a multi-platinum banger. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com with this tutorial, signing out. Peace.